Is it just kind of one of those things, you know, shooters uh, get in a funk and then they kind of shoot them way out of it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't – I'm worried about all that other stuff. I don't really I, – I never put too much uh, – try not to put too much weight on just shooting the ball. So, uh, I try to simplify. I don't think about it. I don't talk about it. Um, let my work kind of prevail. I don't like to talk about it. We'll go to Michael Grady with Yes Network. Hey, four of the five guys uh, off the bench reached double figures. Landry, what does it say about the depth of the team? Uh, you know, Spencer, TLC having to move into that starting lineup, and collectively you guys, you know, all put in the work to get the job done. Guys are unselfish, and the NBA is a, a next man up league. So, um, you know, Spencer going down, uh, you know, there's a there's a void there, and guys, you know, collectively have to have to try to fill that. So I think everybody everybody takes it upon themselves to do that the best they can um and we've got a, a group of really capable guys so um it's a, it's a next next man up league can you give us an idea of what it was like to be in an up and down game like this with so many points scored and it's hard to get stops yeah i mean we just had to had to hang around um you know they were they were they're playing really well right now playing free uh play fast so they're tough to guard they do a lot of good good things um but you know, we we trusted ourselves. We knew that if we, you know, hung around long enough and, and kept it a game, you know, we didn't. We feel like we have a lot of firepower too, and they were going to be able to, to outlast us. So, uh, and that's what happened. We we started rebounding a little bit better. Um, we still need to clean that up, and uh, you know, we made winning plays down the stretch. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey Landry, um, obviously KD and Kyrie caught fire down the stretch, but but they were having trouble catching their rhythm early on. Uh, I'm curious as to whether seeing the starters or seeing the stars on the team struggle early on changes your mindset entering the game. Like, did you feel like you needed to come in and put more pressure on yourself to hit shots, or is the mentality the same no matter what's happening on the floor? Uh, the mentality should be the same either way, um, and and that's one thing that I've I've tried to you know address with myself and being honest. The last couple of games, I, I haven't liked how I played, um, so I, I need to you know my my mentality didn't have anything to do with you know those guys not getting going or whether they're ten for ten. So uh, yeah, it, it, it's got to be the same every night regardless of what's going on. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Leonard, did you get yourself in uh, better spots and get better looks tonight, or did you just do a better job of knocking them down when you got them? Um, I mean, you could point to a number of things, point to whatever you want. Um, I just came out with it. You know, I had a different mindset, different approach tonight, um, you know, to for the, for the benefit of our team. So I, I tried to just be aggressive and, and – I made a few changes up top mentally and um, came in the game. I, I've been working my ass off all off season. Uh, it was two games into the, you know, two or three games in the regular season. I'm not going to, you know, I wasn't going to make a big deal out of it. So um, just let my work prevail. Like I said, make a few changes up top mentally and um, shots went in tonight. So, Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Landry, where did you think you guys had the most trouble with them on defense? Uh, offensive rebounding. Um, in a game like this, you know, when they're scoring as often as they are, um, you know, you, you have to secure every miss, you know, and we, we struggled with that um, throughout the game. They have some guys on that team that can, you know, pursue the ball um, on that end, so – uh, I mean, 17 offensive rebounds tonight, if I'm reading that correctly. So, you know, that that was definitely our biggest area where uh, we struggled, I think. So, yeah. And last question, Steve Lichtenstein with WFAN. Hi, Landry. Uh, you're a great three-point shooter, but so I imagine you pay attention to others around the league. You play with one in Joe Harris. He was six for eight today. What? You're seeing him up close for the first time. What impresses you the most about him? Um, I mean, he's he does everything picture perfect, uh, from his feet to his uh, his shot prep before the shot. You know, he 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 moves with the best of them uh, in the league. He's always moving, finding spots. Uh, really smart, smart player. Uh, knows how to how to play and how to play off of good players like Kevin and Kyrie. Um, 
you know, he's a talent. He's a weapon for us. And when he gets hot like tonight, you know, it, it, it you know, makes a world of difference for us. So uh, we, we love when he's, he's knocking them down like that.